This conference will now be recorded. Uh, hello, everyone. Can you please hear me? Yes, yes, we are able to hear you. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, uh, myself, uh, Banu, I'm your uh, Python trainer. Let's start our uh, demo session now. Before going to the demo, I need to know what do you guys know about Python? Do you have any idea about Python? Yes, it's a programming language. Okay, so it's a programming language. What does mean by programming language? Why we need a programming language? To build a code for a application. Okay, so the main purpose of programming language is to build a code. Or we need to communicate in our communication. Yes, we need to communicate with the system. So we can't simply say the system to do this and that and all. We have to make the system to respond to our instruction, right? So to execute that one, we need a language. Like we uh, we are, you know, speaking now with English, our native language is there for communication. So the same way the computers uh, must have a language to communicate with each other, with the human, right? So for that, we need a programming language okay so python is a programming language fine okay so python is now a very popular programming language so most of us are learning python now so why especially uh, python became popular now any idea why not other language why you people choose the python reason so is it is mainly for data science it's mainly for data science okay for data science field you choose python uh, that's good and okay then if it is some sort of java it needs that, like uh, uh, five to six lines of code whereas in python we can able to do that in two to three lines compared to java yeah it can be done in single line too not yeah. two to three lines also it can be done in yeah. single line so that's the thing the simplicity and readability format of python is Moreover, like a English language, it doesn't look like a programming language. It's not hard like other programming languages like C, Java, C++, like that. It won't look like a, you know, programming language. It will be in the form of uh, English language. Okay. So, fine. Then uh, what else you know about Python? Okay, so these are the common factors you know you actually know about Python, right? So in this demo section, first let us see what we are going to do in this course. Okay, how long it will take? The major things we will just look have a look into that and have some introduction for Python, like what is Python where we will use python and what is the advantages of using python and then what more okay we can see that one now okay let me share my screen am i sharing my screen guys yes we can able to see us okay Yes, yes. So this is the course syllabus we are going to follow throughout this course. Okay. So it is our duration will be like 30 to 35 hours. So first chapter will be like introduction to Python. It will be like what is Python and how it is evaluated. So before that, no one knows Python. But now everyone is willing to learn Python. Why? We will see that one. And what is the unique feature about Python? Why it is different from other languages? So uh, it is popular now, not only for that purpose, we are, we are going to learn a language. So it will have some uniqueness from other languages, right? So we will see that one. And now recently we are using Python 3. 
but previously we used python 2 so what is the difference between both the things so we need to analyze that one and uh, we need to install the environment for python then only we can code it and then first python program uh, python identifiers keywords indentation like that so commands command line arguments so how to get the user input not only uh, writing a program and getting an output we the user also somewhere they will give the input right so those things and what is data type so every language is having data type so in python what are the things we have and what are variables core objects and uh, function numbers and max so this is the simple introduction about python and the chapter 2 covers lists ranges tuples in python so what are the things there and then python dictionaries and set so this will be a very important topic in the data structure okay so list tuples uh, dictionary and set is a very important topic in python we have to analyze that separately and input and output so file handling and all we will see that one and then uh, python built-in function what are the built-in functions are there and how we are going to use that one and what are the if condition and uh, you know loops there we will uh, we will look into that one and python is an object oriented programming language so it follows the oops uh, concept this one i will tell you one thing okay so this is a uh, about the oops concept in python we can look have a look into this one and exception handling so exception handling is also a very important topic uh, we need to know how to handle the exception exception is nothing but error handling okay so what are the common errors uh, will be appear and how to resolve it we will see that one and the next one is json json is nothing but a javascript object notation so uh, we will uh, look into this one and uh, python regular expression so this is also a very important advanced level topic we will have a look into this one and then uh, using databases in python so how to connect MySQL that is a database with Python and how to create table and uh, you know do the other SQL commands in using Python language you will see that one anyone knows uh, databases here anyone is familiar with databases yeah ma'am I am familiar okay so others no problem we can uh, you know look into that one i will explain you clearly and then the next one is introduction to libraries so libraries we know that uh, already python will have a, a, a huge number of uh, standard libraries apart from that some uh, we can install and use it those important advanced level libraries we will have a look and then uh, the last thing about python django framework so we will have a look into the framework of python 2 so this is the curriculum we are going to follow in this uh, syllabus do you have any doubt means you can ask me and our course uh, duration will be 30 to 35 hours okay so within that we will finish this course so these all about the small thing about uh, course curriculum next coming to the introduction about python So now tell me uh, what does mean by Python? What do you know about Python? Any definition you have? So what is Python? So Python is a high level uh, interpreted object oriented programming language. Okay, we can simply say like Python is a high level. So what does mean by high level? Do you have any idea about high level interpreted?
what does mean by high level guys any idea high level language so high level language is nothing but the human understandable language so we are going to write a program which is understandable by us that's why it's like i told you right it is like a basic english language and then the next thing will be like it is a interpreted language interpreted language is nothing but you know uh, it will compile the program line by line so that if it is having any error means what will happen it will stop there itself it will not run the next line if you have 100 lines of code and you are getting an error at 15th line of your code or 15th line of your code then the program will stop there itself and notify you there, there is some error so then you can directly go there and you can rectify your error and then you have then only the program will move on to the next line until then it will stop there itself so to avoid uh, you know confusion this interpreted will be interpreter will be very helpful and we have low level language too that is called machine understandable language high level language is nothing but human understandable language human understandable language and low level language is nothing but machine understandable language okay and object oriented programming language so coming to this part object oriented so object oriented is nothing but it deals with the real world entities that is real world you know objects so that that is a concept uh, so python is also following this oops concept so we already know what is the programming language so we have several types of programming language and we will see where python comes in that uh, types of programming language so types of uh, programming language so first will be a structured programming language so what does mean by this structured programming language so it is simply you know it will have like a, a importing module and it will help it will have like a you know variable it will have a function so it's simply a, a program it will not have any it will not support any oops principle that is called programming language c language is a structured programming language okay so it will not support oops call oops principle okay so that is called structured programming language does not support structured i'm sorry does not support oops principle okay so the next one will be like object based object based programming language so what is that object based so it will deals with the real world object real world objects is nothing but you uh, i mean people you know vehicles like that we have objects right so that is called a uh, real world objects so it will the object based programming language will support you know classes and object so here we can say virtual basic virtual a uh, basic script like that these languages or supports only classes and object it will not support oops concept oops concept uh, you know like uh, encapsulation abstraction we have don't worry in the advanced level we will see that so now i will give you a glance about this so supports only 
class and objects it will not support hoops concept that is called object based programming language and the last type is object oriented object oriented programming language so this is nothing but it will support the classes objects as well as the oops principle like you know polymorphism and in, uh, inheritance abstraction and encapsulation like c++ so c++ is a object oriented programming language java a popular language that is also a object oriented programming language c sharp is also object program i mean object oriented programming language so it supports class these are the three types of programming language we are seeing so let's see where python fits so polymorphism that is oops concept okay so polymorphism inheritance encapsulation and abstraction okay now tell me uh, where python will fit here do you have any idea we have three types of programming language so what do you think about that where python will fit now any idea guys where we can fit python no object oriented program language object oriented programming language yes because we saw in the definition itself so we can fit python in object oriented programming language but the thing is that python can fit into structure programming language you know uh, as i told you without i mean program i mean python is a very uh, simple syntax so we can easily write up code in python in others we need to write at least six lines of code but python we can write it in even single line so it don't need any classes and object it doesn't need any you know a uh, oops concept to write a code and get the output so it's a structured programming language to along with object oriented programming and one more thing so the other thing is it is a object based programming language too so python will fit into all the types of programming language okay you can write a program with python you know you, without a uh, oops concept you can write a program without you know classes and object and also you can write a program with everything class object and uh, oops principle that is the main feature and speciality about python python will be fitting into all the above okay guys this is the types of uh, programming language and python will be uh, fitting into structured programming language as well as object pro uh, based programming language as well as object oriented programming language this is a very important question so interview question okay just remember this one it's a very important interview question so where python fits here means it will be fit into all the three programming language so i hope you understand here and coming back to application of python so we know that a uh, python is a you know a high level language interpreted object oriented programming language and we need to know that where we need to fit this python okay so where we it is going to fit in in uh, here so that is called application where we are going to apply python application of python so you have any idea where we can use python in which field we can use python so any idea about that guys okay web development so for developing a web 
framework we can use python okay web development so here uh, we will use frameworks like you know django and flask so for a, a complex project that is big projects we can use our django pro framework and for small small projects we can use flask api okay so these two frameworks we have in python and then we can use python in data science someone told me right so we can use a python in data science as well as machine learning so that is also a field which is quite popular now and then here uh, we need some libraries from python okay so those libraries are pandas so we have these libraries uh, i will give you a you know this is the advanced level uh, topic we will see that uh, later okay but i will tell you what are those numpy matplotlib and then uh, we have a uh, skykit like this we have you know uh, many uh, libraries which we can simply install from using a you know pip we have i will tell you explain you everything so using that one we can simply install the other libraries which is not uh, standardly available with python okay so these are the th libraries which is using in data science and machine learning and we can use uh, automation and scripting uh, so we can use a uh, scripting like server side scripting we can use python so it is like automating the repetitive task so uh, for for example if you are going to use python for testing okay so you need to test a uh, web page so in that web page you will have you know, you know while taking that amazon website you will have like thousands of pages in a single website am i right so let me show you that so i'm going to amazon website now so i'm just uh, searching for some mobiles here okay so let me go to the home page all page i will search for best sellers so here i will see different kind of urls and i will go to mini tv so this is one page and here if i go back to here and then i'm just checking for this one like that we will have so many pages involved in this single website we can say thousands and thousands of website i mean urls are there in single amazon website okay so i need to uh, test this uh, you know single uh, link but i can i should not repeat repeat the task so for that uh, we can choose python for testing also to automate the task to avoid repetition so i can at a time i can run all the 1500 you know website i mean web pages using a single code that is the main thing about automation work in python okay to avoid repeating task uh, so uh, for in this course are we going to cover uh, python plus automation or also or only no, like no 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 we are not going to cover automation testing is different topic we are going to cover python here advanced level of python you know basic to advanced level okay we will cover libraries advanced level libraries and advanced level framework too and other oh. uh, topics like regular expression json and all a very advanced level python topic not a beginner level python topic we will cover those things here but testing is a different subject okay and also like that sql and all uh, uh, that uh, is going yeah. to be covered sql we are not going to cover you know uh, database in a you know 
software we will directly use that in python okay okay programming we are not i, I will tell you what is sql and uh, how we are going to use that one what are the commands available in sql like that basic lines we will learn here and directly we will use that thing in python using python code we will use that one okay, okay. so we will yes, not yes. Uh, separately learn that as a language because that is also a different language right yes correct oh, that's why i was so, asking like sql also yeah, it will yeah. be covered yeah. yeah so right. i will tell you what are the things we needed for python i will explain you that clearly and we will directly write code using python those uh, create table table name and all we will write with along with python okay yeah sure. thank you yeah so here writing scripts the next point will be the writing scripts we will write server side scriptings okay so these are the things uh, for various operation we will use here and then next one will be the software development so that's a popular application right software development so here what we will do is we will be like prototyping the software so for building applications and system programming and all we will use python here we will apply python here so prototyping what is mean by prototyping it's like user interface right <laughs> so anything uh, we can't simply say that this amazon website is going to start from here it will have login button here it will have a sign in button here like that we can't simply say by word we need to show them some prototype okay so for that prototyping software development we can use this python language for a user interface and then building applications and system programming so these are the things in software uh, development we are going to apply uh, python here okay and then the ma main thing about uh, you know python is game development so in that area we have a special data type also that is called set uh, while taking the class i will explain you that so in data i mean in game development we can use the library called pygame okay we can simply use that module and we can develop a, a game and then the next one will be networking so in that what we will do is we will build a network tools and servers using python building networking tools and servers so these are the areas where we are going to apply python so the first thing will be the web development so in web development we can develop that i showed you right now amazon so that is a complete project in web development uh, there they, they are used django framework uh, you know amazon is using django framework netflix is using django framework many popular you know languages are you i mean uh, popular channels are using django framework even youtube is using django framework because of its high security purpose okay so it's a framework which uh, they where everything is already available but the only thing is you know, uh, you should know how to use it and how to manage with that you don't need to worry about other things the, the simple thing you have to know how to use it and how to manage with that framework so that is the thing why django framework is popular okay so it is a web based framework that's why it is used in web development and data science and machine learning so it has so many libraries like pandas numpy matplot like that we have many libraries which is used in especially in data science and machine language automation scripting so we can automate for Uh, to avoid repetitive uh, repetitive task and it it is uh, it is like a server side scripting 
and in software development it is used in a prototyping building application and system programming and game development we can simply use a module called pygame and using those functions in the module we can simply use that one module is nothing but uh, you know in c and c plus and all you are in, import some module right import os import like that so that is called modules so the module names are these things okay import pandas import numpy okay and then networking is nothing but building network tools and servers so these are the very uh, basic overview about python as of now uh, we have seen about what is python what are the things we are going to you know do in our course and how long i mean duration of the course and then we saw where we are using this python in in what are the fields we can uh, execute python and now the the thing is advantages of python okay tell me what do you think what will be the advantages of python now tell me guys what will be the advantages of python compared to other programming language python is more easy uh come again sorry python is more compared to other yeah compared to other programming language python is uh, easy yes exactly what do you say it is a easy and simple programming language so we can right. say like easy to learn and use yes yes so, right yeah so it is easy to learn and use so because so in other programming language what we will do is for a hello world program that is the very first programming you know code we will use in every languages hello world is the first program so let me show you that so i know java so i will try simply write some things okay so here i'm importing os okay so this is a module i'm importing here and then i'm going to create a class first that is very important in java so i will say class hello and then i need to have a curly braces then i need to type public static void main and then i will say string string arguments and then i should have a thing like this and then here so system dot out dot print and then so here i will say hello world so here we need to have you know import utils like that we we should uh, you know add more import functions and then this one a semicolon is also must and you need to close all the curly braces which you have used this one so this system dot print ln is nothing but the print statement in java okay so like this you need to uh, write at least so for five, four to five lines of code in other languages to print hello world if i run this one it will print like hello world now for python what do you think how we can write hello world program here any guesses okay so in python i can say print hello world i do the semicolon is also optional if i want i can use the semicolon if i don't want i don't need, don't need to it is not compulsory so i can simply say print hello world so what are the things i am asking to print it will directly print if i want to print 100 means 200 means i can say 200 if i want to print you know 100 plus 29 like that then it will print what is the answer of this one so python is this much simple when compared to the other languages so for a beginners okay so making it accessible 
it has a very simple and clean syntax like this so anything inside a print statement will be printed directly you don't need to import any model module or you don't need to create any class so this is nothing but structured programming language we saw saw that one right types of programming language and python is fitting into all the three languages i, I mean all the three types so the first type is structural programming languages this is the structure so you can directly use this one you don't need to write you know uh, many lines of code in python i hope you understand this one any doubt in this concept so this is the major uh, you know uh, feature in python while comparing with the other programming languages okay so this is the first thing easy to use so for that we can say like simple and clean syntax making it accessible to beginners so anyone who knows english language can easily understand this you know syntax that is the main feature about uh, python and the next one is versatile what does mean by versatile what does mean by versatile guys so versatile is nothing but uh, you know uh, being in part of many things we can say right so the same way from uh, you know web development to data analysis from you know uh, software development to machine learning we have so many that is wide range of application using python okay we have vast number of uh, application using python from web development to data analysis or software development to machine learning like that we have vast range of application using python that is nothing but versatile and then the third one will be the large standard library so uh, as of now i told you about you know uh, some extra libraries advanced level libraries like pandas uh, numpy like that so not only that one there is already a vast number of you know standard libraries which is already present in the python uh, software that one you don't need to install you can directly you import that one you don't need to install that one that those modules are uh, you know uh, uh, very rich in functions and classes you can directly use that one in in your program uh, you don't need to install those things it has a very large standard libraries for all our basic operations for the advanced level like data science machine learning we need particular you know uh, modules that one we can simply install and use it okay so it has a good community support what do you mean by community support what do you know mean by community support okay so community support is nothing but nowadays you know uh, more than a, a billion devices are using python right now more than 15 million developers are there who are specialized in python so if you want something about python if you want any code or something you will directly go to the internet and you will get the answer right that is called community support you can get your errors will be rectified using the google concept or youtube channel you will simply go there and you will find the answer immediately you don't need to wait for next day or something you will get it in a fraction of second i mean seconds because 15 million developers are already there for python so they are using that one and it, they you have a very good community support whenever you need help you will get it immediately that is the main thing okay the next one is cross platform so it can be used in any platform that is 
uh, operating systems like windows we can use python and windows we can use uh, python and mac os also we can use in uh, linux so that is the main uh, thing about python so we it is a platform independent thing cro cross platform that is called platform independent you can use this in any os okay and the last one is integration compatibilities we can say uh, capabilities okay so integration capabilities that is nothing but you can integrate this language with the other uh, popular languages like c c++ java also so that is called integration ke 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 i mean sorry capabilities we can easily integrate this python with the c c sharp and java languages okay so these are the application of python so up to this one uh, any doubt guys so this is the basic thing about you know python so any doubt in this concept so are you clear about what is python and where we can use python and then what is the advantage of python and our course curriculum and duration so now you can ask what is the doubt you have from your side about the course and subject oh uh, yeah one question here yes yeah uh, you know that uh, automation testing uh, majorly uh, we are using the combination with java and the selenium framework correct uh, but mm -hmm. now uh, uh, for onvision for uh, i'm sorry am i audible uh, so, yeah yeah please proceed yeah for automation testing majorly the combination is java with the uh, selenium framework correct java language programming language and the framework is the Not selenium only with so java. Now, yeah the, the, the next too. python also correct correct so that is yeah, the yeah, second yeah. part of this question is so now uh, the automation is started with the python language and the framework is uh, same as a selenium so uh, yeah. uh, here we already discussed only one framework do we have the another one frameworks also so that one uh, we will use to automate the for See, automation for, purpose you know for testing we have selenium framework testing. okay for testing we have that is called automation framework testing is a automation yes. framework yes okay so selenium itself a framework, framework automation right. framework and we saw django and flask which is for web development frameworks those are web development frameworks so testing prospecting which framework with python selenium language selenium framework selenium only okay yes selenium framework we can use with python and it is a uh, you know uh, it it will go very well with python selenium will go very well with python okay okay got it got it okay so any other doubts yeah, guys thanks. thank you nilesh uh, yeah, i yeah. have a question uh, i just go ahead amulya yes. yeah yeah okay thanks amulya by the completion of this course can we be considered as python developers sorry i missed the 10 minutes of first uh, session so i am not sure whether that is done or not yeah it's like you know you are we are starting from the basic and to the advanced level almost okay. we are covering every topics in python okay so this can be considered as python development uh... yeah yeah development only so we will okay. have in the very advanced level we will tell you in which way we you need to lead python further more okay yeah okay Thank to you. make it master we will mm -hmm. i will tell you in which way you need to take it to the next level okay fine yeah fine, fine okay actually uh, like uh, i'm a performance tester so but uh, so far i know only the c language uh, and i just want to do learner any... or j yes 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 jemi okay load runner okay. i used yes. to work with both but i just okay. need uh, like uh, want to learn one of the like uh, good language and uh, language. Okay. programming language i'm not sure whether i can be able to cope up with the uh, uh, java yeah, exactly you, know, you don't hard. worry about you know python it's a mm -hmm. very uh, easy language for beginners if you don't okay. have any programming language 
don't worry about that one it is a very easy language from the basic if you are very uh, you know uh, adaptable to this one you if you are uh, you know spending time uh, some time on this you can learn it so quickly it is a very easy language okay. not like other programming language that's why i so told you it is a beginner friendly language okay actually okay. i uh, saw few sessions from the udemy and uh, it seems to be a bit uh, easy only but uh, i'm not sure whether the course and the topics whatever we are considered in this i mean in the sessions will be considered as development complete development or not so just thought of asking yeah yeah it. yeah it's a development uh, th um, things only it's okay. advanced level course don't okay, worry fine. about it one yeah yeah thank you yeah sure and uh, any uh, other questions uh, guys Yes, I have a question here. So, can you please elaborate on uh, what exactly is a library and what exactly is a uh, framework? Okay. So, library is nothing but it will have some, you know, a set of functions, classes, and some, you know, uh, objects in that. Okay. It's a single concept. But framework is nothing but it will have everything. It will have all the libraries, not single library. So library is only one module. That is uh, in Amazon page, I open like, for example, I'm saying, okay. So uh, in Amazon page, I opened, you know, one mobile phone uh, criteria and I it just opened single page. Okay. But that, that, that alone is not Amazon.com, right? Yes, correct. So the same way, the framework is called Amazon.com. Just imagine the framework is Amazon.com. Everything is inside that one. All the other pages, all the 1,500, 3,000 pages are inside that single, uh, you know, software. So the libraries are inside the framework. All the libraries, not single library. All the libraries are inside the framework. Libraries and modules are same. It will have some set of functions so what is the main purpose of library or module is to uh, make the task easier so if i need to do some addition program okay so i will say uh, say 4 plus 5 equal to this one so uh, each time i don't need to repeat the calculation process how to calculate a addition i took how to calculate a subtraction like that i don't need to waste my time by doing the same set of process to avoid that repeated to task only we are using libraries fine so those libraries are single single libraries but all together it is will be available in the framework that is libraries all the functions everything in the single thing we will simply enter into that one you have to know how to use it and how to uh, manage with that so you don't need to do the complex uh, parts. Everything, every complex thing will be automatic uh, already there in the framework. You need to concentrate on how to use it and how to manage with that one. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. Uh, any other doubt, guys? Uh, one last question. Yes. So uh, actually, I'm looking for a uh, Python. Uh, automation testing okay uh, so is this course is supportive for the automation testing purpose also or only for development purpose see this is the basic class okay basic to advanced okay. level of a language okay ah, right. so after finishing this language you should decide where you are going to implement this one whether okay. you can use this Go. in the testing field or you can use it in a development field so for a oh, tester oh. also you should uh, for if you are learning like a white box testing and all you need to know a language right Correct. so the language you should learn that first after that you have to decide in which path you are going to do you, you are going to enter so after finishing, okay. uh, this okay. is go capable go of both. Okay, the course is capable of, after finishing that, you can go in, either you can go into a development side or it is, you can go into a testing side according to you. 
so if you are going to the you know development side you need to learn a framework and i mean a framework completely which is a very advanced level topic it's a separate from this course okay and if you are going to uh, uh, deal with the testing means you have to learn some framework called selenium right so for everything this is the base okay okay got it got it thank you i think yes. uh, this point this question would be answered when you spoke about the applications of python right so where you gave examples of which are the areas where we can use python like web development or data science if we are yeah. uh, wanting to yeah to move into machine learning kind right or data science we can use or automation or even software development i think yeah, when you spoke yeah. about the application part uh, uh, there he gets the answer for that yeah 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 I'm so there wrong. i told you in which thing yeah where you can apply python after this course you can apply all the those things in that area like web development or data science data analytics machine learning automation uh, software development game development like that in those areas you can apply python okay so any other uh, doubts guys so in today's session i just you know uh, explained you about everything about the course details and a simple introduction to python so in next session we will move to the direct thing about what is python and how it is working we can see that tomorrow and for uh, you know i need to share some uh, documents and all with you uh, can you drop your uh, name with along with your mobile number in the chat now could you please yeah sure we'll do that thank you so much please uh, drop your uh, mobile number along with your name i will save that one for further uh, document sending and all so for tomorrow section you can do one thing you can you know you can uh, learn something about python that is how it is working what is python like that have some little research and come so that we can easily discuss with inter and interact with each other okay so that you will get some more doubts and i can resolve it in the class itself okay guys so everyone uh, drop your uh, name with the mobile number so i hope uh, this session is useful for you so every everyone's doubt is cleared right so there is any doubt no we are good for now thank you okay so we'll meet you tomorrow yeah sure Fine, thanks yeah sure thank you take care bye